Well, I pick up a clutch and a flywheel for and a pressure plate, you know, for the uh, El Camino. Looks like the flywheel's the wrong one. Yeah, it pisses me off because um, I should have read, should have read the details a little closer. This is a 14-inch flywheel, 168 teeth, which would be for not a 305, but they have it as the only flywheel available for the 305. But it's not the right one. It should be. Um, 12 and an eighth inch diameter with 153 teeth. So I'm like, that's great. I might keep this anyway because if I put the 383 stroker in there or something, I probably think I, I think it would need this flywheel anyway. Because, uh, but anyway, <laughs> boy, that pissed me off, man. God. They got it listed wrong. It's listed wrong because there's only one flywheel option for the 305 listed. So I click it on. I say there's not even any choices. And I get that damn thing. And I'm like, wait. The first thing I did before is just freaking taking anything apart. Make sure this bolts up on here. And no. <laughs> Actually, I should have caught this, though. I should have caught that because I think that's a 10 and a half inch clutch. And the bigger clutch would go on a bigger flywheel but they only had one choice so that's what I pick man the one I got in there freaking 20 years ago it was all scratched up and actually this you should take um it's probably clean man I don't know maybe there's some kind of coating on here there's no rust though take some kind of uh, lacquer thinner or something acetone and clean this crap off here's the uh throwout bearing that goes on a clutch fork and of course this of course it don't fit right you know <laughs> goes between these two things and your throwout bearing fits in your clutch fork like this and when you press on the clutch it pushes these things down which releases pressure it takes the clamping force off the clutch you know and actually, with mine slipping a little bit, it could partially be because it's just freaking dirt, you know. Probably if you can get in there and uh, release the crutch, clutch and uh, get in there with brake clean, you probably could make it work better. This bearing, I ain't sure what the hell this is for, to tell you the truth. This bearing is, this goes in the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, crank crankshaft. So it's like where this bolts into the crankshaft. When this bolts into the crankshaft, this is inside the crankshaft. The way to get this out is you take a bunch of grease, you fill it up with grease. This would be fit and flush against the crankshaft, and you pull it up with a bunch of grease, and you get a socket that fits in there just real tight with the extension. And as you hammer it, the grease gets behind the pilot bearing and starts knocking it out that's how you get that out of there and when you put these on I got the new bolts for it of course damn thing don't fit <laughs> new flywheel bolts which I'm going to install with uh, Loctite I think they give you an extra extra couple of bolts here because you, need one, you only need seven I think they give you 10. But I'm going to have to order another flywheel. I'm probably not going to return this because I'm going to go sitting around with that. They'll probably charge you on shipping. The thing isn't even that much damn my money. So, but that slowed me down. Tomorrow I'm going to take this thing out and uh, get rid of the rest of those little bit of crap I got there with the tree branches. So, man, that's a bummer. But I figured I'd check this first beforehand because. <laughs> get under the car, you know, it don't fit, and it should be, I was going to count the number of teeth, but it would be a 168, I should have a 153, I only got a 305 engine in there, I think it would be the bigger flywheel, I knew it wasn't a bigger clutch, so, order another flywheel, man, piss me off, I guess I'll just keep this with this, Oh yeah, and this, 
Man, back in the day, they never had these things. <laughs> we used to have to freaking step on uh, the clutch arm with our foot really hard and try to jiggle it in there. We can guess to get it about right. They never had this stupid plastic thing way back in the day. This makes it way easier. I mean, I've, I know they had this for about... God, I mean, I, the last time I put this clutch in 25 years ago, um, it had this. But I'm talking back in the 70s. They, the clutches didn't come with these things. <laughs> you should see what a pain in the ass it was to get them in without that, man. One guy would be stepping on an arm of the clutch, and another guy would be... Um, trying to jiggle the transmission in. That pissed me off though. It's just, this is like, this is what aggravates me is that there's only one, there's only, there isn't two different flywheels for the 305. There's, there's just a smaller one and they got the wrong one listed under the damn thing. I should have, I really didn't, I just took it on faith that they got it correct, but, you know, you'd think they would, but they don't. We'll see what kind of problems we run into when we get this thing in there. I don't think it's going to be a big problem, though, to tell you the truth, but we shall find out. I think this is going to be less problem putting this clutch in than messing around with some electronic crap, to tell you the truth. Because at least you know it's bolts. <laughs> you know, electronic stuff, man. You can even have all the right stuff in the aftermarket parts are not working right because OEM computer just don't like those aftermarket parts. You can even have it all correct. I don't know where this thing is made. But I just got a standard clutch because uh, made in China. Great. <laughs> where this stupid thing is made. Clutch made in China. Made in China. Probably the guys that freaking put the uh, wrong listing probably were in China too. Who knows? Oh, here's mine. Need that. A lot of times you don't need to change the pilot bearing, but well, I changed mine the last time, man. That thing was. It gets all. It's like the uh, tip of the transmission sits in there, and you got to stick some grease in here too. It gets all ovaled out after a while. And that's one reason you don't want to. Right on your clutch a lot because what happened? I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put some tape around this shit. God, you can lose it. You'll uh, you wear out your throttle bearing pretty quick. Uh, you know it's supposedly permanently greased, but the other thing is too when you start a car up with uh, manual transmission. There's my little guy helping me <laughs> with, with a manual transmission. Um, they got that new safety switch where you press down the clutch and um, that's the only way you can start it just so you don't accidentally start it in gear. I bypassed that a long time ago because first off it puts uh, wear on your uh, thrust bearing on your crankshaft in your crank in your main crankshaft your main thrust bearing and uh, because when you're starting a car up, you're pressing that clutch down, it's putting like the spring pressure, you see my catch down here, you see the spring pressure of the clutch is up against, up against the, uh, you know, the, the, the crank, this crank is being pushed and it's going against that thrust, the thrust bearing, when you're starting it up, especially when it's, you know, cold out, there's no oil pressure in for the first few seconds, and it wears out the crank bearing. There's a lot of stupid shit they tell you to do that you shouldn't do, to tell you the truth. Even on a motorcycle, you know that crap they tell you about? You're supposed to uh, always be in gear uh, when you're at a stoplight on a motorcycle. And you keep you, you hold your clutch in with your hand. You know, you just hold the clutch in with your hand. You always be in gear just in case you got to take off real fast. Well, you know what? That's wearing out shit inside your transmission on your uh, motorcycle. So, I don't know, man. I mean, it's good in one way, but in another way, it's very mechanically stupid. So, anyway, I can't order another flywheel right now. Chinese flywheel. God. <laughs> I think the one I got, if I, if I had a horse, high horsepower engine, I mean, a long time ago, um, 
they would have blown up because there's all kinds of checkered cracks in it. I mean, that's how it was back in 1993. I just took a piece of sandpaper on a block and I just did a bunch of sanding like X and uh, put the clutch in it. It's been in there forever. But I baby the clutch, but you know, it's been in there freaking forever. I mean, how long is it going to last, man? 25 freaking years, man. And uh, what the hell else was I going to say? Something else. I forget. Oh, yeah, I remember what I was going to say. Another thing is, you know, these people that put these clutches in that have the real hard spring pressure, like this, it's really hard to press down on a clutch and, you know, push these fingers. Well, that tears up your linkage. I swear to God, a friend of mine had a 66 Mustang, and he had a Ford, I don't know, top loader or some garbage, you know, T10 transmission, board, board one, I think Ford was a top loader. And he always put the strongest zoom clutch in there, the strongest one. And this is before they had, like, Kevlar on the, on the uh, plates. And he'd bend stuff. He'd bend the, after a while, he would bend the, uh, the clutch arm. It would just bend. Uh, so he welded two of them together. Then after that, there was a problem with the Z-bar. This car had, um, I had to rebuild the Z-bar, change the bracket on the, uh, go into the frame, change out the bolts. Because this car, a long time ago, that's why I changed the clutch a long time ago, had a real heavy clutch in it. It tears everything up. And actually that real heavy clutch, when I popped the clutch, destroyed, it broke the main shaft on my Saginaw. I mean, you don't want something that grips that freaking hard anyway, you know? <laughs> not with a car like this. Maybe with a Muncie or something, M22, but not a Saginaw. <laughs> so, that's another thing. And if uh, the, today they got the clutches that are, the more they slip, the tighter they grip, the center forces and stuff. And they've got the better clutch material. I don't have that. It's just got standard shit in this one right here, but... Um, I figured, you know, if I change it this time, if I got to burn, it gets burned out in five years, like, I'll, I could probably, I'll, should be a legal flywheel alone, just freaking, uh, hit it with the uh, sandpaper, you know, on a sanding block and go over it a bunch of different ways. So it should hold up. But, uh, that's why the more heavy duty shit you put on, it's like you do one thing, you gotta do the other thing. You normally, you do the whole drive chain train first before you do the motor. Most people do it the other way around. And they find out they bust everything. I want to do the transmission and the rear and the clutch first. But I'm going to keep this because you know what? You never know. I might have a 383 stroker putting this thing. I wouldn't go to a 350. I would leave the 305 if I ever change the motor. Or just I would get the 383 because it doesn't have the sign these cylinders. And since it has the, uh, what do you call it, the 400 uh, crank in it. 400 cubic inch crank that would be you know the right damn thing with the external balancer and that would be you know on the front and this would be the right flywheel for it so anyway gotta go order another one man it's away I'm gonna hit it with a bunch of clear coat paint and uh, wrap it up in plastic and shit after paint dries so it won't rust or nothing 